on behind here. So, um, interesting news. It betokens one of my longer poems. It goes like this, H2, uh-oh. <laughs> Apparently, we're heading for a hurricane, or rather, a hurricane is heading to us. So this should be quite interesting. Um, interestingly enough, this poem has both a gathering of people and a storm in it, and even hints of immortality. So there you go, three in one. It's called Homiletic. For one reason that the art of speechifying, of sermonising is homiletics, yeah? And it's like Jacques Lacan's spreading omelette of a little person. Anybody who knows anything about that knows something. But... And the other thing is I'm nicked loads of the words of a bloke called Homi Baba. So here we go, it goes like this. I've lived that moment of the scattering of the people that in other times and in other places, in the nations of others, becomes a time of gathering. Gatherings of exiles, escapees and refugees, emigres got, dropped or spat out as unwanted children from unforgotten motherlands. And I've been there in the gathering, one of many marginals, gathering in the ghettos and cafes of city centres, gathering in the half-life, half-light of other speaks with uncanny fluency in foreign tongues, gathering the signs of approval, the tokens of acceptance, gathering the memories of other worlds lived retrospectively, I, with others, was busy gathering maturity. Sleeping rough in the loss of the past, lying in the gutter, staring at the stars, sawing wild dreams against the void. We were gathering back the past in a ritual recovery, gathering the present. Now centred, gathering of lives and moments, friends, names, times, flies by my mind's eye, a flock of birds across a cloud the sky. And I cannot believe when I die in the near or far, but gathering, gathering, gathering storm of my mortality. They could all be lost like teardrops in that rain. I'm aware of a difference in style, you know. A bit old school, a bit old school and all that. Yeah. Keep it old school. Little toy poems that maybe mean a lot, maybe don't mean anything. It's all a style. But you know, all good. Yorkshire, so uh, early one. Uh, the core at the end of this was written back in 1979, yeah? Uh, the rest, a little later, it's called To A Smile. Group of suit jobs lunchtime, swimming in a lead city centre boozer, competing with each other to amuse our last behind a bar. Only 18, but meeting such gallant, I've still got it, chat. We a smile, she's got a pat routine. Breaking bar, word through that Freemasonic chain gang. Where's dead cheek, excuse me, mate. This scruffy get gets a smile off them scarlet painted lips. I'll be all blinder. So later, he is bitter. It's sweet as stays with him. He thinks a bit, does scruffy get. Gets out his pen and writes a poem to a smile. She's a Leeds Mona Lisa. And I wish that I could please her. Oh, she's got for me is Side, side. I last want to finish off a little bit on the rough side, yeah? A little bit on the rough side. This particular poem got me out of extreme bother in Hastings. Where's the man from Hastings? Yeah. Uh, on the prow, specifically, of the, ne the, uh, of the Neptune pub, right? Notoriously, be careful. A rock-hard Glaswegian and a rock-hard anti-fascist, as it turned out, um, Bricky. 12-hour a day sulfate Bricky. Anybody knows that? Those sort of people? You'll know how possibly dangerous they can be. We sat out there, we're having a good old time, and then my mate Clive says, oh, by the way, lads, my mate's a, my mate's a poet. Your father, man! Clive? Oh, I don't like poetry, me. I see them points, points, I hate poets, me. I think I am in deep fucking trouble here. Sorry, poor language. Because, uh, you know, it's just to make us laugh, so. The Glaswegian looks at me and says, where you free? Like that, yeah. Alex, look at me. Where are you free? Where are you free? I looked at him in the eye and said, My dad's from Pollock Shield. He says, Here's your poem. And it went like this. So he goes. It's called Middle Class Heaven. And it got me out of a meeting. So here we go. <laughs> Middle Class Heaven's the place for me. This lowly purgatory of poverty was never meant to be. <laughs> MC Heaven, window clean regularly, curtain switch to switch 
smoothly, decorated tastefully, marmalated dark and chunkily. People buy lives live long and leisurely, absolutely never hungrily, because lather overflowingly, when the thing happens eternally, and everybody's treated very nicely. <laughs> So sodding secure, it just isn't fair. And I know, because I know, because I've been there. <laughs> Sometimes taken by a son or daughter doing what they've been told not to. More often gardener, builder, painter, a sort of temporary useful mobile gnome in some other heavenly MC home. Some other life hero, this life, zero. Just another dragged up kid who'll try, but more than just a geezer with a shovel, much more than meets the eye. One day, I don't give a toss, I'll do the crime. I spend my time after in my MC DOS. Even door work, no heavy lifting, life of perfect ease. One day, as soon as pos. And then I'll tell you, geese, I'll call no fucker. Pos. Uh, that got me out of trouble, the glass reads this. That's good, I like that for you, mum. That's good. Yeah, I like that, it's all right, mate, I like that one. But speak to people as they will hear. Finish off with a very short one. Uh, very, very short one, really, very short. Because it's been, you know, I know we are all this in this boat, as it were. I know Jenny is, because I've known her a long time. And love your stuff, by the way, babe. Strangling child, here we are. If you like a rationale for it, it's for anybody who's ever recovered from the slightest touch of mental illness. Uh, that's to be a bit prosaic about it, a bit pompous. A bit pompous. A bit pompous, but there we go. Yeah, anyone's got, for, got off their head a bit sometimes, you know? Covered. Never happens to poets, of course. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, anyway, here we go. Strangely child, so weird, so wild, so feared by other children. A stranger to yourself, deranged to adults, never strange themselves. Once I was strange like you, you know, it's true. And the only way out is through. Why am I looking at Alex? Yes, the only way out is through. And I know you do what you have to do. You two will ride your wild strangeness out to weird it right about into a magic only you can use. The magic of the real you. Now, strange in child, so weird, so wild. You weary me with your strange energy. In time, you'll metamorphic turn it round into a strangeness so profound. To the unstrange, you'll be as they. And then, my strangeling, you'll be free! For only the few is sight to see you'll sense the child you used to be. It's only the few is sight to see you sense the child you used to be. Thank you very much, guys.